can only see the first three rows. So <laughs> if you're out there. <laughs> and what I'd like to show you is the results of their work and some of the progress that we've made. I don't have to tell you the bandwidth is going up. I think everybody knows that, although there's a chart showing this big up arrow. <laughs> and when it comes to actually processing the packets through the bandwidth across the network, we haven't really seen a fundamental change on how that problem has been approached. Sorry. Until now, together with Wind River and our embedded group, we have created the network acceleration platform. And what you're seeing on the bottom is the traditional packets going through and the bottleneck in a multi-core environment of the contention between system operating tasks and the packet tasks. On the top is the new process, which is 20 times faster than before. By distributing the load across multiple integrated processing cores, we're able to execute the packet processing and OS tasks in parallel. And of course, that's a big part of getting scale performance out of multi-core. The results is less system overhead, of course, more efficient systems, but more importantly, unprecedented throughput. We can now deliver 10.5 million packets per second, per core, and it scales linearly. So for those of you that haven't done that math really quickly, on an eight core machine, that's 84 million packets per second. And that is a great user experience for a network service provider. There's more uh, technology that's important. Paul talked about it yesterday, and that's in the area of security. 